Welcome back. Next problem, still in the standard 4MBT5, number in operations base 10, key academic vocabulary. This is problem number four for the first standard on the next upcoming assessment. So let's set it up. All right, here we go. Sienna multiplies two numbers. So that would be something like this. Number one. Number two. Okay, takes up the first line. And remember we highlight proper nouns in blue. Academic vocabulary and pink and then all the digits are numbers in yellow let's go to the next up the first number is 176 so you'd put 176 right in there so i'm going to write it down here so we can see it nice and clear done done the second number Remember, first number, second number, is a whole number that is greater than zero, but less than four. So if we'd write it four, three, two, one, zero, these are the three whole numbers. Whole number options. Sorry, I got cut off. It says whole number. So we have to pick three, two, or one. The product, so you see the word product again. Remember, product is the answer or result of a multiplication problem. Of two numbers has an eight in the ones place. That's it. Doesn't tell us anything else. What is a possible number that Sienna multiplies 176 by? So if I multiply it, we're gonna do three different problems. So first, I'm gonna start with number one. I'm gonna substitute it. I'm gonna bring it all the way over, and here's our first number. We're gonna multiply by one, okay? Remember, this is ones, tens, hundreds. The six is in the ones place, the seven is in the tens, and then the hundreds. The only information that we have is the product of the two numbers has an eight in the ones place. In other words, this needs to be eight. Right away, when you take one times six, one times six is not eight. So that doesn't work. So we're gonna try whole number number two. Let's take 176 times two. We are just substituting the value. The first number is always gonna stay the same, 176. 176, the only number that we are changing is the second number. And this second statement tells us it needs to be a one, two, or three. We just proved in this example, one times six is not an eight. Remember, the only information we're given is Product of the two numbers has an eight in the ones place. Here's the eight. Let's see, is two times six equals eight? Two times six equals 12. That does not equal eight. So three better work. Otherwise, there's major problems going on. 176 times three. Remember, the product of the two numbers has an eight in the ones place. So this needs to be eight. Three times six, I'm gonna write it over here, is 18. See that? Three times six is 18. The eight is in the ones place, the one is in the tens place. So we would carry that one when we're doing standard algorithm. The eight stays there, so look, check check. The correct answer is three. So we had to go through each single one and eliminate them. 
Notice four is not even an option because it says less than four. So why even do four? The only answer is three. Why? Three times six is 18. The eight stays in the ones place. And that's exactly what they're asking for right here. That was five minutes, a little faster. Enjoy, have a good one. And remember, keep practicing. Later.